Hello there, welcome to Simon Shed, and welcome to another episode of Simon Scenery, where I dive into a bit more detail and show you the whole process of what I'm doing on one particular element of scenery, rather than skimming over and giving a, a general overview update. So uh, sit back and relax and enjoy. And today we're looking at the Shire Scenes um, brass kit, and it's uh, sort of picnic benches. And we're going to need a craft knife or sprue cutter, preferably. I hadn't got one. Tweezers, sandpaper, or files, prefer preferably, but I couldn't find mine. Uh, super glue and some paint. And uh, there's a quick look at the instructions. Uh, but to be honest, it's a fairly simple uh, kit to uh, put together, as you will see. So right at the start when I showed you the back of the pack uh, it said no priming is necessary with this just wash it in soapy hot soapy water which is what I did and uh, as I say I don't have the professional sprue cutters so just trying to use a craft knife to uh, remove the parts and uh, I bought two of these kits, and each kit does two benches, and as I say, it's an etched brass kit that starts out completely flat like this, and you have to bend certain bits into shape and glue it together. So carefully cutting out the bits, that's the main sort of top of the bench. I have now found the files that I was looking for, but. Uh, just very carefully sanding down the um, little bits of brass that were left from the sprue seem to work really well. Just getting the edges nice and clean. And uh, you can see on the sort of tabletop and the bench, uh, there's quite a nice sort of wood grain effect built in. A little plate, that's uh, a little plate and a menu I think, attached to the sort of main frame, there goes the plate of the bench. So some nice uh, little details included with the kit. Uh, I will put a link in the description as to where I actually bought it from. Uh, it was scalelink.co.uk but uh, as I say, I'll put a link in the description. I think it was uh, about four pounds for each kit. So just obviously bending the uh, main sort of frame, ready to accept the bench top and the uh, sorry, the table top and the benches, and just trying to straighten it all up and get it all nice and straight and level. There we are. just made a bit of a temporary glue spreader and got a bit of glue out to work with. I didn't end up stuck to this kit too many times but uh, I usually do when I'm building things like this. So yeah first and the tweezers really did come in very handy. for this sort of fiddly work as can sometimes be the case with N-Gage it does get a bit fiddly so drop the tabletop on a dab of super glue and I just took my time with this uh, this was actually filmed over about three days I think just kept doing a bit and uh, putting it away and coming back to it. So once the tabletop's on we can stick the two benches on. Now as I say this, this comes with uh, an umbrella and also a sort of advertising board as well which I didn't necessarily need for the bit 
uh, of scenery that I'm going to put these benches in. These are to go on the grass, sort of bit just behind Arley station platform in a little picnic area. But I thought I may as well uh, build the uh, umbrella and all the details as well, just to show you the whole kit and paint them up. But we'll get to that later. There we have the sort of main structure of the bench, all glued together, really easy. And as I say, it did say not to prime the kit, so uh, let's give the umbrella a little coat of paint. I thought it might be easier just to give it a coat before uh, shaping it. It does tell you the uh, about the fold lines in the instructions, but uh, as I say, it's reasonably obvious. You just sort of bend each um, little triangle of the umbrella down to sort of form a umbrella shape, obviously. And just using some uh, acrylics, acrylic paints that I had. A good thing about Engage is the paints last a long time because everything is so small that you don't use much uh, paint on each bit. And this is the uh, sort of pole for the umbrella. And now I'm trying to make a nice wooden colour for the benches um, for the sort of picnic table itself just mixing that up quite an enjoyable uh, little kits to build not too uh, not too big and daunting and as I say just took my time did it over a few days I did take a few coats of paint to get the sort of colour and finish that I wanted quite a lot of different surfaces and angles and front and back to make sure you get all the paint into and I uh, wasn't particularly happy with this sort of first colour but it did need another coat anyway so I just changed the colour slightly I'm just trying to not put too much paint on and sort of hide the nice etched brass wood grain effect that they put on. So this is almost certainly the next day, as I say, a different colour and another coat of paint. And it came out a lot better or a lot closer to how I wanted it to look and ended up with uh, four four nice benches which I'll show you on the layout at the end but no need to rush just take your time and enjoy the process and if you're not enjoying it just put it away and uh, have a little break ah so here just bending it along the fold lines so make a sort of cone shape for the umbrella and it's as easy as that just bend round nope. painting it first kind of worked but uh, we did get a bit of damage uh, from bending it, so another coat of green goes on to that. Ah, now the advertising board. Very simple, just bend it into shape. But you can see the writing on there. I did try and get the writing to sort of stand out separately, but I couldn't find a way that I could get it to work. Um, I tried painting it. I tried this sort of dabbing lightly on hoping not to go into the grooves of the letters but as you can see 
it didn't really work, it just made a mess, so I took that off and started again. What it says in the instructions is paint the letters, I assume with sort of just normal wet paint, uh, let's say white, let that dry. There's the uh, finished bench, needs a bit of touching up underneath, but never mind. Uh, yeah, paint the letters, I so see painted the letters white and then tiny tiny bit of a different colour, let's say red and just sort of dry brush barely touching the board and apparently that leaves the letters standing out but uh, as I say it's beyond my skill level but I didn't need the board anyway so uh, and they really are tiny tiny letters so just gluing, obviously gluing the umbrella pole to the umbrella and sticking that all together and put quite delicate operation to sort of get the pole sliding into the middle of the bench but you can see there it's looking really good I think I'm pleased with how it turned out nice simple kit and just some of the finer details as I said before they do provide a little plate there and I think that's a little menu um, for the table as well so tiny tiny details nice little kit and there we are the four tables all painted up quite a Cruel close up, you have to ignore the little slight wonkiness. And let's have a look at them on the layout at the end of Arley Station, just in the little picnic area there. So that was fun, I enjoyed uh, putting those together, and I have done some more work on uh, the scenery there further down at Arley, and uh, I will get back to you in the next video with uh, an update on all of that but for now thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon